In a previous video, we interviewed Arthur Jaco, a PhD student in mathematics of EPFL, and we saw that any neural network architecture could somewhat be mapped to a limiting kernel called the neural tangent kernel. This kernel is a way of comparing the similarity between two data, like two images. Interestingly, in the 2018 New Rapes paper, Arthur and his co-authors showed that the learning of the neural network corresponded to a relatively simple functional gradient descent whose gradient is given by the neural tangent kernel. Yeah, the, the, the best example is for if you take uh, least square cost. So if you, you're, you're minimizing the, the square distance between the, the, func the, the, the function of the network and your uh, goal points. In this case, the, with this uh, neural tangent kernel, so this kernel that we have, actually the, the behavior of the function be, is described by uh, a linear differential equation. And this linear differential equation in function space, the, its, um, its, eigens, uh, its eigenvalues and eigenfunctions of this uh, linear uh, um, differential equation are the kernel principal component of the data, of the da data set that you have with respect to this neural, neural tangent kernel. Now, these were a lot of big words. Keep in mind that here we are in the functional space, so we really don't care about the parameters of the neural network. What we care about is the function that the neural network computes. And any such function can be regarded as a sum of principal components, that is, functions that are somewhat orthogonal according to the neural tangent kernel. As the neural network learns, each of the principal components will converge at its own rate. And so typically we, we know that the, the network will converge faster along its bigger principal components. And so uh, typi typically the, the, like, usually the biggest principal component is the constant function. So, so neural uh, networks, they really li like uh, constant function. So at first it will be the, the, its first, uh, the first uh, direction in function space that will converge will be the, the constant function. And then usually it looks a bit, it will look maybe like first linear function. So, so it's not exactly the, 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 it could look like the usual frequencies, but it's a bit more complicated than that. Than that. So in some sense, if I recap, the architecture of the neural network and the training data set allow to construct a so-called neural tangent kernel, which determines the direction along which the learned function will be descending. And especially in the case of a quadratic loss function, this descent can be thought of as independent learning of principal components of the neural tangent kernel. Well, I'm not sure if this clarifies anything at all, but I hope it gives you a bit of a hint of how to analyze neural networks from a functional perspective. Why these neural networks work, or what's the theory, and if this argument actually can be understood, is still completely open. We don't understand what these neural networks actually do. If instead of initialization, initializing with sigma, we would initialize with the neural tangent kernel, then the distribution at convergence would be the posterior. 